Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use a few simple levels adjustments to transform an image and come up with something that looks like this. This is our starting image here and you can see the colors aren't right and the image is looking very flat and we can use levels to come up with something much more punchy and impressive. So I'm going to start by going to levels underscore before dot JPEG then I'm going to access my layers panel by going to window layers or hitting F7. Then I can click the Create Adjustment Layer icon here at the bottom of the Layers panel and choose Levels from my list of adjustment layers. And up pops my Properties panel here. Then I'm going to start by setting a white point here. So I'm just going to drag my Properties panel over to the side so we can see the image a bit more clearly. And then I'm going to hold Alt while I drag the white point slider and that will give me a view of any clipped pixels as I drag. So you can see as I drag inwards more and more pixels are appearing and these pixels are being clipped to pure white. So if I release now you can see how we've lost detail entirely in lots of areas. So obviously I don't want that. So I'm going to drag back to a point where the whites begin to clip which is around here around 225 you can see we're starting to see clipped pixels around here so I'm going to set that to probably around about 228 I think. And it may seem like we're squeezing the tonal range but in fact we're doing the opposite and expanding it to cover all tones from pure black to pure white. So I'm going to do the same by holding alt and dragging the black point slider here. And once again you'll see that pixels begin to appear the further I drag and these pixels are being clipped to pure black this time. So I'm going to drag to a point where they start to appear somewhere around 19 I think. And if I toggle that levels adjustment layer on and off you can see how we're beginning to give the image much more punch. Next I'm going to try and improve the colors by correcting this red color cast. And I can do that by using the gray point eyedropper here. So if I toggle that on then I can click over a point in the image that I think is neutral in color. So I can click around the image and you'll see how this remaps all the colors around that neutral point. If you don't get it right first time you can continue clicking on different points until you find a point that works and I think that's working well. And if I go to the channel drop down here and select these different color channels, you'll see how by clicking on different points, we're shifting the midtone point here on these different color channels, which was originally set to 1.00. And we now have them set to blue 1.26 and red set to 0 0.79. Next I'm going to use another levels adjustment layer to target the sky but before I do so I'm going to use a selection tool to select it. So I'm just going to turn off my panels for now. Then I'm going to grab the magic wand tool from the tools panel over here and in my options along the top of the screen you can see I have tolerance set to 20 and contiguous checked and then I'm just going to click on a blue tone in the sky to begin my selection and you'll see how the tool snaps onto those blue tones. I can then hold shift to add to that selection so I'm going to just shift click on these various points to add them into my selection and because there's a fairly hard line between the land and the sky we can select the sky fairly quickly using the magic wand tool just like that. And if I like I can improve the edge by going to select and refine edge and then I'm just going to up the radius to about 1.7 and also just up smooth to about 2 and hit OK and that will just improve the edge of my selection so it's not so harsh and sharp. Next I'm going to go back to my layers panel and then I'm going to click the create adjustment layer icon again and choose levels again and this time you'll see how we were able to create another levels adjustment layer and the selection we made has automatically been turned into a layer mask which means that we can adjust that part of the image. So I can drag the black point inwards to darken down the sky and I can drag the white point inwards to brighten up those highlights and add more punch and I can use the midpoint here to target the the brightness of the midtone so I think somewhere around there is going to work well for the sky. I can also select different color channels to tweak the colors so I could perhaps select the blue channel and then just drag this way on the midpoint slider to add a touch more blue and perhaps I could go to the red channel and drag that to the right to add a touch more cyan and you can see how we can make those blues in the sky much more intense. 
if I toggle that layer on or off, you can see the dramatic effect that has. In fact, I think it's probably too strong, so we could perhaps adjust the layer opacity to tone it down slightly. So I'm going to bring it down to about 66%. And I think that's working really well. Now I'm going to add a third levels adjustment layer. This time I'm going to target the land and I can do that simply by holding Alt while dragging this layer mask thumbnail up to the new layer I just created and that will copy the mask over. It'll ask me whether I want to replace the mask. Yes, I do. But I want to highlight that mask and then hit Command or Control and I. That's Command I on a Mac, Control I on a PC. And that will invert the colors on that mask. So now we're able to target the land instead of the sky. And if we just go back to the level settings there, then I'm just going to lighten those midtones slightly by dragging the midpoint to the right, just to about 0.94, I think. And I think we'll also tweak the colors. Let's select the red channel here. And I'm just going to drag to the right slightly to about 0.95, just to add a touch of cyan and remove a touch of redness. And then we'll go to the blue channel and we'll drag right slightly again to add a touch of yellow and remove some of that blue. And if I toggle that layer on or off, you can see the effect that has on the land. And that's my finished image. Let's just take a quick look back through our layers here. This was our starting point. We used our first levels adjustment layer to improve the tonal range and correct the colors. We then selected the sky with the magic wand tool and used a second levels adjustment layer to make it more intensely blue. Then we copied the layer mask over and inverted it to target the land and improve the tone and color in the land.